What's one thing that donuts, tacos, cheese curds, lemonade, and fudge all have in common at the fair? Pickles. Yeah, they seem to be in everything this year. So why are there so many pickle-flavored foods? Good question. Kirsten Mitchell tasted it out. This is a slice of the pickle pizza. Some call it a pickle palooza. Pickle beer. How was that? Super good. It's like a kind of light, light beer, but it's really good. At least six pickle foods made the State Fair's 2023 new foods list, while many other vendors hopped on board too. What's the big deal? <laughs> Ah, oh, how can you say no to a pickle? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the saltiness and crunchiness that just draws all of us in. <laughs> the pickle lemonade and Nordic waffles seems to be a hit. It's kind of a big deal, yes. <laughs> pickles and fudge, pickles and fudge go together. Even new vendor Wow Fudge turned savory into sweet. There's a lot of thoughts going through your head right now. <laughs> they have three different pickle fudge flavors. Oh, wow. I'm looking for the wow and you just gave it. Thank you. <laughs> wow, it's all in the title. Yeah, thank you. So that's good. You can taste the dill, but it's still sweet. It's not overpowering. No, not at all. What it is is a vanilla dill with a hint of spearmint. Let's try spicy. This is a very unique flavor. Oh, uh, yeah. You, which one did you like better? The first one. <laughs> Spicy pickle has cayenne. Adventurous people go for the spicy. Owner Ann Wateska sees pickles as less of a flavor and more of a personality. Who is a pickle person? <laughs> pickle people are upbeat and they're fun to be around. And if you find someone that says, oh, I love pickle everything, you want to put your arm around them and go where they're going because they're party people. Okay. Yeah, it is pretty good. It's not bad. No. <laughs> The pickle party took off last year with Rick's Pickle Pizza. They sold 50,000 slices. Do you take any credit for starting this pickle craze? It's something that's kind of followed us every other event we do, so you know, maybe, uh, maybe we are a little bit responsible. We were nervous about being a one-hit wonder, and I think, uh, I think so, far, you know, so far so good. I think you're doing okay. Yeah. The new foods may get all the hype, but you can't forget about the originals. These are my personal faves, the deep fried pickles with cream cheese dipped in ranch, perfect crunch. When I met my husband and he told me he had a fried pickle business, I knew it was, was going to be a great relationship. <laughs> the perfect pickle has been at the fair since 1998. We have grown very steadily every year since then. They've seen food trends come and go. A few years back it was bacon, bacon everything. But the pickle seems to have sticked around. It's Sheer perfection, served up to you hot and fresh in a tray. <laughs> now others are taking note. If that was a hot pickle lemonade, I'd try that. And relishing in the moment. We just feel very blessed that people want to come here and try something new. And I love how open-minded people are to try new things. We get all the pickle foods every year. We can't help it. Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. 27 vendors have pickle food items this year. That's a lot. Uh, of course, agriculture is at the heart of the state fair, so there are more traditional things like people submitting their canned pickles for competition, too.